In this video, we will discuss the option called Safe Recovery. So let's get started. A backup can have malware that can reinfect the machine after recovery. The Safe Recovery functionality allows you to prevent the recurrence of infections by using the integrated anti-malware scanning and malware deletion during the recovery process. There are a few limitations to be aware of. Safe Recovery is supported only for physical or virtual Windows machines with the agent for Windows installed inside the machine. The supported backup types are entire machine or disk volume backups. Safe Recovery is supported only for the volumes with NTFS file systems. Non-NTFS partitions will be recovered without anti-malware scanning. Safe Recovery is not supported for CDP backups or continuous data protection. The machine will be recovered based on the last regular backup without the data in the continuous data protection backup. If you wanted to recover continuous data protection data, you would start a files folders recovery. Let's see how this works. We will go to backup storage and then choose the location. And then we will choose the machine. After this, you will select Show Backups. You will see the different backups. I'm going to choose the incremental backup that occurred today and hit Recover and then Entire Machine. You will see that there is an option for Safe Recovery to be turned on. If you enable the Safe Recovery option, the system will perform the following. It will scan the image backup for malware and mark any infected files. One of the following statuses is assigned to the backup. No malware, where there's no malware that was found in the backup during scanning. Malware was detected during the backup scanning and not scanned. The backup was not scanned from malware. It would then recover the backup to the selected machine and then it would delete the detected malware. In addition, there is a search functionality here where you can filter for backups using the status parameter. Thanks for watching.